precious win on the road. The tall buildings of downtown Boston lighting up the nighttime sky. Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with David Aldridge on our sideline. D.A., take it away. Well, the ceremony was delayed, and understandably so, but at last, the Hall of Fame class of 2020 was enshrined. And what a class it was. Led by Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, and, of course, the late, great Kobe Bryant headlining the nine inductees. There was tremendous poignancy with Kobe's inclusion coming so recently after his tragic death. And it was a night that none of us are going to forget. Guys? Thank you, D.A. Greg, we've got two terrific highlight-making teams, both athletic in so many ways. You know, it, it makes me harken all the way back to college and one of my teammates, Stacy Ogden, one of the greatest athletes I ever played alongside. Well, we're going to see a lot of his impact in tonight's game. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Matthews and Middleton, the two wings. Giannis is the four with Lopez, the five. And it's Bledsoe in at the point guard. And for Boston, Brown and Hayward, they're the wing. Daniel Tice out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Walker in at the point. Tice finds Tatum. Now Walker. Three-pointer. Matthews with the rebound. And so it's Matthews with it. Bringing it up now for the Milwaukee Bucks. Middleton outside. Now the dish to Giannis. Fades and shoots. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. The patience that Antetokounmpo plays with is really impressive for such a young guy. I mean, he doesn't rush anything. Brown the pass to Tice. Back to Brown. Outside, Walker. Six to shoot. Matthews against Brown. You know, at the end of the day, size does matter, especially on the glass. And Jason Tatum, he got a lot of the pub last year, and deservedly so. But Jalen Brown made monstrous strides as well, especially when it came to efficiency. Lopez, no luck. Tatum with it. Eric Bledsoe covering. A second chance effort, and the layup good by Tatum. Tatum has no problem mixing it up, guys. Goes after offensive rebounds with real zeal and a great effort to clean up that mess on the glass. Now here's Lopez. And it's Giannis missing. And you look at Brown's field goal percentage and his free throw percentage, Greg, both career highs last season. And, Kev, his shot was never broken. The motion never had to be rebuilt. Brown's problem coming into the league was that he would shoot the ball differently every time. Once he landed on the repeatable mechanics, you could see the consistency start to take form. Now Hayward following the three-point attempt by Eric Bloodson. Hayward passes to Tice. Walker in the corner. Good on the three-point shot. And Walker always shot ready. This is why you can't lay off of, especially when the ball's going towards him. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. And what an alley-oop. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. And as the receiver, he doesn't feel the need to go for the monster finish that time. I mean, laying it up for the two points worked out just fine. Here's Hayward, and he banks in the layup. And how about Hayward mixing it up inside there? Shows he can score on either side of the three-point line and, and really makes him more difficult to guard. Now here's Bledsoe. And there's the pass to Anadokounmpo over Tatum. And that one hits back iron. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Yeah, I think the train has left the station in regards to Walker ever being able to live his shoot-first reputation down. But as we see here, this is a guy who can make some spectacular passes. Now here's Lopez. 
No points in the game yet for him. Back to Bledsoe. Rebound, Gordon Hayward. And Hayward with a clear path to the hoop. And Hayward with the stuff. And using his underrated athleticism, Hayward is no stranger to throwing it down. Timeout, timeout. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. And a new group in for the Celtics. Ennis Canners checked in for Daniel Tice. Williams comes in for Jason Tatum. Marcus Marks checked in for Gordon Hayward. And Brad Wanamaker subbed in for Kemba Walker. Now here's DiVincenzo. Hill kicks to Connaughton. DiVincenzo with it. Here is Ilias Hova. The three from Hill. It's hauled in by Brunt. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Pass to Williams. Here's Wanamaker. Pass to Canner. Over Lopez. Cantor's shot is off. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. Here's Hill. Here's Lopez, and he drops in the layup off the glass. A guy that doesn't give up on the glass. Lopez, a real force at rebounding the ball. Pass to Smart. Here's Wanamaker. He's guarded by Hill. Fourteen feet away, and no good trying to use the glass. There's 42 seconds left here in the first quarter. The shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Man, you got to love how precise he is and proficient he is with the floaters. Makes them nearly impossible to block with how fast he gets them off. And it's denied. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Ilyasova. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And guys, that's about as good a defensive play as you'll see. Instant reaction to get a hand to the shot. Boston making a switch here. Williams is checked in. Marvin Williams is checked in for Milwaukee. Corver comes in for Pat Connaughton. Side Williams. Here's Cantor. Milwaukee with the rebound. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Now Hill. No good on the last second attempt there. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. It's the Celtics up three. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. And recently on the subject of trash talking, Giannis Antetokounmpo had this to say. I like to stay lucky like to the game and focus on the game and uh, let my... Uh, you know, play and my energy and my effort do the target for me. 
Greg, as you always say, different guys intimidate in, in different ways. And when you have his level of length, athleticism, and skill, you don't need to say a word. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And what do you guys think about Boston here in this one? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you look at the energy, the effort defensively. They put it all out there in that opening quarter. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Setting the four for the Bucks. They've got Hill. Kyle Korver is out there with Marvin Williams. Then there's Robin Lopez. And it's DiVincenzo in at the two spot. And not only is Smart one of the best defenders in the league, Greg, he's also one of the most versatile players in the NBA. Yeah, when you talk about players who can guard one through five, it's usually referring to Kawhi, PG-13, or Giannis. But Smart at 6'4 has the strength, the anticipation, and the toughness to hold his own against anyone. It's remarkable. And Boston has possession after the basket by Milwaukee. Cantor's shot is off. And here is DiVincenzo. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. To the paint. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Smart finds Brown. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock out. it down. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. So the Celtics called timeout. They're first. Looking at current NBA players, Greg, leaving aside the real star players, who would you love to have played with from this era? Man, there are so many guys that, you know, and I hate to call them role players because they bring so much more to the table. But in reality, they got to fill some roles, right? And, you know, John Collins is a guy who's got great potential, a, a tremendous finisher around the, the rim. How about Robert Covington, a smooth shooter who, who defends his tail off? Davis Bertans, a, a deadly floor spacer who, who can put the ball down and, and create and make plays. So there's so many guys like that in the league that make a difference in determining whether your team can win or lose. Boy, those are three names I don't know that I would have mentioned, so I'm glad you did. And a new group in for the Celtics. Daniel Tice is checked in for Cantor. Tatum comes in for Williams. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Jalen Brown. And it's Kimba Walker in for Brad Wanamaker. Now here's Walker. The pass to Tatum. Five to shoot. Tries from 16. And the jumper falls for him. And the Celtics lead by one. You know, guys, Tatum's ability to rise into his jump shot makes him hard to defend for just about all defenders. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, if you just look for a few minutes at Giannis Adentacupo on the court, you know why he's called the Greek freak, but it's the drive that makes him an MVP. He said people try to make it complicated. Life is simple. You know what you want, go get it. Do what it takes every day and don't lie to yourself. Guys, I hope you understand I'm being truthful in all of these reports. Back to you. Love the intensity. David, thank you. A shot by Hayward wide open. Buries the long-range jumper. And it's a four-point Celtic lead. And the release on Hayward's shot, just so smooth. He makes the play with urgency, but doesn't let that compromise his mechanic. And Bledsoe, here we go. Yep, that one goes. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now, here's Walker. Over Bledsoe. Not enough on that one as it misses. The Bucs have gone 3-7 of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Bledsoe can't get that one to drop. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. 
only given up six here in this quarter. Smart finds Walker. Off target from outside. Milwaukee has gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Here's Giannis. You know, growing up in Greece, Giannis Antetokounmpo was so poor, he and his older brother, Thanasis, had to share a pair of tennis shoes. I mean, how about how far he's come since then? Now he's the first foreign-born player ever with his own Nike signature shoe. good from out of the Kumbo. Yeah, out of the Kumbo has really learned how to get himself to the foul line. It's one of the easiest ways to score the ball. He gets to the stripe at a higher clip with each passing year. Celtics making a switch here. Williams is checked in. The box also changing it up. Elias Opus checked in and it's Pat Connington in for Wesley Matthews. Both free throws good from out of the Kumbo. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Walker against Bledsoe. Tatum wide open. He fires one. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And Clark, they say back in Greece, all of Giannis's basketball shoes were hand-me-downs from his teammates. Greg, nothing like not having enough to drive you to get more. I mean, clearly, you think about Giannis and his background and where he is now. He and Thanasis oftentimes would take turns playing in the game, swapping the same pair of shoes. Those days are long behind both of them. First one at the line is good. Rager, the all-time assist leader for the Big West Conference, in that frame, talk about some of the traits that make for a for a good floor general, a good point guard, a good facility. Yeah, I mean, listen, you, you have to be a leader because that's what the position calls for. Uh, unselfishness, instincts, that stuff matters. But ultimately, your play, your teammates got to feel like you play for them. And that's when you have a team, a chance as a team to, to be special. I'm assuming you've always been like that. Am I correct? No, that oh, is not really? true. Wow. I evolved into a leader. In all seriousness, wow. you know, you, I think it, some guys are natural. Others, like myself, had to evolve into it. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. So good to see Bledsoe setting up guys like that. I mean, especially when they're wide open and they've got the better shot. Walker dishes to Hayward. Outside Williams. And that time, also a missed shot. To the wing on the left. 124 left to play here in the half. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. And he's on his way to the free throw line. And Antetokounmpo is, is just fearless. I mean, hit him, knock him around really doesn't phase him doesn't matter I mean this guy is determined to get the job done and he does looking at who's out there now for the Celtics Robert Williams comes in for Gordon Hayward and Brad Wanamaker subbed in for smart Antetokounmpo has said he doesn't want people calling him the MVP because he doesn't want to relax. He said he fears failure, so he has got to get better. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Well, Greg, there's been some debate. What do you think? Is Giannis the best player right now in the world? I tell you what, if there's a conversation, he has to be in it. You know, some people might go with Kawhi, Kevin Durant, He's coming back. LeBron James is there as well. But Giannis is probably the guy to lead that conversation.
122 left here in the second. Celtics trail by six. Wanamaker the pass to Williams. Kicks it to Walker. Over Bledsoe. Again, the miss by the Celtics. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And, you know, they've got to be careful. because This is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. And Boston has possession following the miss by Eric Bledsoe. Shots good by Walker. He's obviously hit a, a bit of a dry spell here. Only one of five this quarter. Bledsoe outside. It's Anadokumbo on the wing. And a great assist by Bledsoe as that one goes in. Bledsoe's got three assists in the game. And Walker's got the ball here for the Celtics. Excellent D there from Bledsoe. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. And what a special player Antetokounmpo is sharing the sugar there. The vision he showed. Nice job finding the open man. Walker against Bledsoe. Now here's Walker. He has six. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. I like how Bledsoe uses his athleticism to challenge shots and try to get into the head of the shooter. And the first half is now in the books. Bucks lead by seven. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Mike Budenholzer. Your defense has been very good. Why has that happened? You know, I think our guys are committed on that end. Uh, everybody's active. Everybody's covering for each other. And we know how important it is. Mike, we'll see if it continues in the next quarter. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us. But you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith. Shaquille O'Neal, you're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. A tremendous game we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. He ended up with 19 points, and he might not get all the attention, but you talk about smooth scoring wings in this league, fellas. Chris Middleton right at the top of that list. Kenny, you a fan? For sure. I mean, the guy's a great shooter. Doesn't need a high volume, high efficiency. He can get buckets at all three levels, inside, outside, and mid-range. Love him. You know, he's a great pairing with Giannis. You know, the free gets you inside. You know, he gets from the outside. And he spells Chris, K-H-R-I-S. Got to like that. Mm. Here's Chris Kevin Chen. Harlan, K-H-E-V-I-N, Harlan. And that's a wrap for our halftime show, the third quarter, just about to get started. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. You look at Enetokounmpo in this one. He's been everywhere. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look that he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Bucks leading by seven. Hayward at small forward with Tatum at the four. Walker and Brown, they're manning the backcourt. And it's Tice in at the five spot. That's the Boston five. Now here's Matthews. Back to Anadokounmpo. And it's good for two. Giannis has got the lead up to nine now for Milwaukee. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Here's Tice. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Round with it. Lock at six. Releases. 
And the rebound goes to Lopez. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting here about 46% for the game. And it's Giannis missing. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. Hayward can hit. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. And GA Chris Middleton over his career much improved on the defensive end. A, a true two-way player. I tell you, that 6'11 wingspan helps. Able to use that length to bother shots and disrupt passes. Here is Hayward after Eric Bloodsoe's score. And it's Tice in the corner. It's Brown on the wing. He's covered by Matthews. Brown, good. And Brown is just so physically imposing. I mean, especially inside where he usually gets whatever he wants. Bledsoe looking it over. Lays it in off the pretty alley -oop. My goodness. Say, save that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Virtually impossible to top that alley -oop. Walker. Here's Tatum. Great tee that time from Giannis. Clearly out of rhythm now, guys. I mean, just one for five to begin the second half. The shot by Middleton. Wide open. Good, and Bledsoe gets the assist. Middleton's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Yep, it goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down to just 12 points with the basket from Gordon Hayward. Timeout, timeout called the Bucs. Greg, how special was it for you Sorry. that you had your number 50 retired at UNLV? You know, that's something I can honestly say. As a kid, you dream about a lot of things, winning, you know, playing at the, the highest levels. Uh, that's something I never really fathom is uh, to have your jersey hanging up in an arena. That was a surreal moment, a, a really cool moment, and it was awesome to be able to share it with my family and friends. And people probably uh, don't know that you grew up in Las Vegas, so it was probably doubly special, wasn't it? Exactly. Born and raised. Cantor, he checked in for the Celtics. Marcus Smart comes in for Walker. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Here's DiVincenzo. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's on Jalen Brown. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And at the line last year, he was good on about 77% of his attempts. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The throw drops for DiVincenzo. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Celtics trail by 13. Smart deciding where to go with it. Plays it up and banks it in. For a guy who's still working on his range, love to see Smart attacking on the interior. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, we know that for years the NBA has thought about a postseason play-in tournament get more teams and fans involved. Last year's pandemic stoppage basically necessitated its implementation. For the NBA, the disruption of business as usual enabled innovation and risk-taking. I don't want to 
be too hoity-toity, but it was Albert Einstein who once said, in the midst of every crisis lies great opportunity. Guys, back to you. You're right. Thank you, David. Shot clock at six. Out to Hayward. Hayward is double. Crown wide open. He fired. And again, Boston with the triple. You know, the three-point shot, guys, is something that Brown continues to improve upon. It's important for him to be knocking down these looks to expand his offensive repertoire. Now, here is Hill. On the wing, DiVincenzo. And the call will be against Robin Lopez. That's his first foul. Go the other way. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And those are plays that get you in front and keep you in front. And some changes here for the Celtics. Robert Williams comes in for Daniel Tice. And Brad Wanamaker subbed in for Gordon Hayward. And then for Milwaukee, Julius Sobis checked in. And it's Pat Connington in for Kyle Korver. Here's Wanamaker. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Here's Cantor. And he gets it to go. Hitting off the back of the rim. Cantor's got it back down to within single digits for Boston. Cantor against Hill. A floater. Unable to get that one. And so Wanamaker will bring it up for Boston. Canner in the corner. And he drops it in from the low post. Cantor's got his second basket. And really inside the paint is where Cantor thrives. His dominant approach lets him just own that space. Stolen by Cantor. And Cantor throws it down. The adjustments they've made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. It's certainly been an impressive run. They finally found the right formula to break down the defense. Ilias Ova, no one around him. And just miss after miss right now. Round with it. Williams picks him up. Cantor trying to free himself up. Boy, so much fun seeing Brown drop the hammer. Just an amazing dunker who bashes the basket. Timeout called the Bucks. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Williams, he's checked in for Cantor. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Lopez is checked in. Bucks leading by three. 46 seconds left to play in the third. The drive by Hill from outside the arc. Lopez, no luck. Boston's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Tatum, he's checked in for Boston. The box also changing it up. Matthews, he's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Eric Bledsoe in for Hill. Thirty-two seconds left to play in the third. Tatum with it. He's picked up by Lopez. Let's it go from 14. Tatum, no good. The box have gone even five of ten on shot attempts in the third. Matthews dishes to Bledsoe. A double team Bledsoe. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. No good from Connaughton. Here's Wanamaker. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Bucks ahead, up three. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports.
And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. The backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthews. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. And it's Lopez in at the center locking down the middle. Here's Wanamaker. Just five to shoot. Williams. Great positioning on the putback. Yeah, hard trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. Bledsoe with it. He's picked up by Walker. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. Here's Walker following the bucket by the Bucks. And it's Brown missing. Onto Takumbo, passes to Bledsoe. There's the lob, and Takumbo up high to stuff the alley -oop. Love the read there from Ante Tacumpo. I mean, his basketball IQ is really impressive when it comes to alley oop attempts. Now, here's Walker. Williams finds Tatum. Pass to Walker. Over onto Tacumbo. Walker's shot is off. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. And that one's good by Giannis. Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. Now a timeout called by Boston. You have to like what we're seeing from Giannis under Dacumbo. And he's been taking it to the rack all game, and they haven't been able to contain him. They have to put up better fight on the inside. Some changes for Boston. Daniel Tice is checked in for Williams. And Gordon Haywards is subbed in for Brad Wanamaker. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. Well, look, here's what Brad Stevens went over with his guys during the break. He said, this is where we make our move. This game is going to come down to big plays. Whichever team makes them is going to come out of here with the win. Kevin, we know what side he's on. Now, here's Adetokounmpo. Following the miss by jump Kemba ball, Walker. Jump ball, jump ball. And a bit of a battle here you for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. So it's the Bucks now. Lopez with the ball. Now defended by Hayward. Here's Brown. Finish off the break. He wasn't able to get his name in the score sheet in the first half. But he looks like he's starting to find his comfort zone here. And so it's Budso with it, bringing it up for the Bucks. They've led by as many as 14 points. Middleton looking it over. Onto Takumbo trying to free himself up. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. Now, here's Tatum. Pass to Walker. Jacks up a three. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. 
On to Dekumbo. He's got six rebounds in the game. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Celtics trail by nine. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. That's a two-pointer from Walker, and right through it goes. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Walker against Bledsoe. On the wing, Giannis. And Middleton kicks to Bledsoe. Lopez against Tice. Middleton for three. Hits it from three-point range. The obvious work ethic of Middleton on full display there. I mean, the quick release off the pass which leaves the defense without much to do. Now here's Walker. Again the miss by Walker. Middleton inside the three-point line. Here's onto Takumbo. Goes to the reverse layup up and cuts it in. And now it's a 12-point Milwaukee lead. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're trailing by 12. 152 left in the fourth quarter. now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game Eric Bledsoe and the way he's made his mark with his work inside he's just been a slasher tonight always moving getting to the basket at will and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way there must be something about playing in a hostile environment that drives him he is really fed off that now DiVincenzo Following the miss by Kemba Walker from deep. Middleton can't get it to go. Celtics trail by 12. Walker in the corner. 129 left to play here in the fourth. Smart against DiVincenzo. And here's Tatum for three. Good and smart gets the assist. Tatum continues to expand his range, and with his size and length, he can shoot over most defenders. Outside for Bledsoe. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for the Bucks. I think the attitude was very impressive. Definitely a competitive game, and they fought through it each step of the way. Absolutely. They put on a tremendous performance in terms of the effort and intensity. This was a well-deserved win. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Giannis. An unbelievable scoring performance. He absolutely took over and never let up. So Boston ends up going with a new group. Now Edwards. Passes it to Ojale. He kicks it to Edwards. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth. Six on the shot clock. Cantor trying to free himself up. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. And it's the Bucks ball. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. Edwards against Bloodsoe.
So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Giannis, congratulations. How did your team come out on top tonight? We just played hard uh, and we played defense. That's the most important thing. So that's what we do. We play defense. We read by the ball. We run. That's what we did tonight. We play defense. And it led to a big, big win, man. Congratulations. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you later.